Hey guys, getting ready to start on a new project. Well, it's a new old project. We have the... This is an International, about a 1968 International 500 crawler with a drop 4-in-1 bucket. And when I got it, the... Uh, steering clutches needed adjustment so my brother-in-law and I proceeded to change them and worked fine for a while but then we had a mechanical linkage break so to be honest with you the thing sat for probably the last five years or so I haven't had really time to get into it we just went out this last weekend bought a monster commercial battery to try and start it up we did get it started, it ran fantastic. It's uh, drove from the clearing over there and those trees with a little steering help from his John Deere. Got it over here in front of my house so it'd be easier to work on and shut it off before I put it exactly where I wanted it and then it wouldn't start again, so started looking into the electrical because figured out that's what it was and you can see we've got a mess back here so this was a wire going to the ammeter that's been melted replaced a couple of times probably um, random wires that just go nowhere uh, Old splices down here coming off the starter, uh, broken wires, again, randoms that just lead nowhere. The, uh, okay, a little bit of a mess coming up here. Somebody converted it from a generator to an alternator. Um, these red ones are just being used as zip ties, twist ties. One more random wire goes nowhere. Uh, this one here is, I believe, the oil pressure line coming from way down inside here. I believe it's a hollow copper oil pressure. One, what appears to be, I think, a 10 gauge line coming from the one wire alternator going to the positive battery terminal. But uh, this whole thing's a mess, so we couldn't see what was going on behind the starter back there because this whole area here gets filled up with the fuel tank. So there's the fuel tank here. Uh, that's the firewall portion goes towards the motor and the the dash mounts on there and the driver's area and uh, pulled that out and while I've got this out I just decided to rewire the entire dozer other than there's a few of the wires uh, heavy gauge stuff on the back of the dash that appear to be pretty decent. Uh, the wires going to the coils, I got the coils, the uh, glow plugs appears to be pretty good. The, most of the wiring is going to be replaced, going to replace the ammeter with a voltmeter and probably get a new gauge or two besides that. I don't know, we'll see what happens. We'll replace the starter button, the glow plug button, maybe the glow plug indicator if I can find one. Parts for this are not easy to find. This is the throttle linkage. Uh, we'll get all that cleaned up, running more smoothly. And this is all just an effort to get it running again. And then at that point, we will take the seat out, the steering clutch covers. We'll probably pull those 
out again, check them out, and then replace whatever may have to manufacture some linkage components or if we can't find something from a boneyard somewhere and see if we can't get this thing uh, actually driving and steering in addition to running but overall it's not in too bad of a shape to be honest with you other than being caked with some mud and having some weeds growing in for the last five six years but uh, the sprockets look thoroughly decent. There's still some flats on them. They're not rounded off. They're not sharp. Um, we'll just have to see where we go from there. No rear attachments, just uh, some weight plates. There might be one or two more of those laying around. And sort of a homemade ROPS system that's going to need some work because well i don't know if you can see in here but it took a hit at some point one of these pipes is split right down so you could tell it was a homemade deal to start with so i'll take that apart cut it apart beef it up a little bit because well i don't know if you can see i'm holding the camera level right now and the land here's pretty steep good grade so want to have that functioning just in case but anyway so that's a quick introduction uh already had a couple guys uh, look at my wiring plans uh, give me a couple pointers and gonna get started on that next so i'll keep you guys posted okay that is the tractor's wiring harness or what's left of it anyways i removed all wires entirely. The only wire that I left intact, this is uh, the hollow tubing for the oil pressure. Uh, the other is the hollow tubing for the reverser. And this here is the only wire that I have left in the tractor. It's in pretty darn decent condition pretty darn decent condition, so I don't want to uh, remove it because, to be honest with you, I don't understand how these are connected to the ends of the glow plugs. Um, are they a press fit? Are they a threaded fit? I'm just not familiar with them, so the wire's in good shape. I'm going to leave it alone. All right, so the next step is, well, you can see the fuel tank, the lower panel of the dash, the console, and uh, there's the dash. Left a little bit of wiring intact on the back there, just because it didn't need to come off. But uh, I'm gonna take that to work, to the shop, clean it all up, put all the new wiring in, and probably clean and paint this. So as I recondition each segment of the tractor, I'm probably going to clean it up best I can, give it a fresh coat of paint, and uh, see what it looks like when we're done, so. All right, beginning of a big project. Wish me luck.